While it's not uncommon for people to call cats calico, did you know that calico isn't a breed? The term is used to describe a very specific color pattern. There's a really unique genetic combination required for a cat to have a calico coat, and if you see one, it's almost a guarantee that the cat is female. In this video, we're going to find out why and take a look at the most surprising facts about these rare beauties. Number 13. The term calico describes a very specific tricolored pattern. The colors black, white, and orange must all be present in a cat's coat for them to be called a calico. The calico pattern is similar to the tortoise shell pattern. Tortoise shell cats have brindled coats with very few or no white markings. Their coats have a distinctive pattern made up of two colors and can include black, amber, cinnamon, chocolate, or red. Calicos don't have any variation in color, and all three colors must be present in their coat. Interestingly, tortoise shell cats are also almost exclusively female, which leads us to our next fact. Number 12. Only one calico in 3,000 is male. What does coat color have to do with gender? Let's break this down a bit. Males have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. Females have two X chromosomes. The genes that determine a cat's coat color are located on the X chromosome. Because females have two genes that express coat color, they can have coat colors that are mixed. Since male cats only have one X chromosome, they will express only that one gene. In other words, since females have two color genes, they can display two coat colors. In this case, orange or black and white, creating a calico coat. Since males only have one color gene, they will only display orange or black. For a male cat to have a calico coat, they have to have two X chromosomes. But wait, wouldn't that make them a female? Well, no. There is a genetic mutation called Klinefelter syndrome, where a cat is born with the chromosome pattern XXY. The presence of the Y chromosome makes them male, but the extra X chromosome allows them to display some traits that male cats typically wouldn't. These cats are usually sterile, and the condition is a result of a spontaneous cell mutation prior to birth, which is extremely rare. Number 11. Calico coat patterns often correspond to their geographic location. We won't go into another genetics lesson, but this is likely because certain genetic traits persist within certain regions. In the United States, Calicos primarily have white, black, and orange patches. In Europe, they sometimes have blue or cream patches in place of the orange. Number 10. The less white there is in a calico's coat, the more catitude they will have. Calico cats have a reputation for having very unique personalities and being very independent. Their tendency towards being strong-willed, hot-tempered, and possessive of their humans is what is sometimes referred to as catitude. If your calico is talkative, makes their presence known, and prefers to express their feelings with meows, hisses, and loud purrs, there's a good chance they have very little white in their coat. No one really knows why the amount of white in a calico's coat corresponds to their personality, but there are tons of anecdotal reports showing it. The more white there is in a calico's coat, the calmer they are, and the less catitude they show. Number 9. Calicos holds a stately position. Not really, but they are the official cat of the state of Maryland. They have been since October 2001 and were chosen because they share their color markings with the Baltimore Oriole, Maryland's official state bird. You might notice that the Baltimore Orioles baseball team has a uniform that's also black, orange, and white. Number 8. Calicos are considered good luck in Japan. Historically, Japanese sailors brought calico cats on board their ships to protect them from bad spirits and harsh storms. The beckoning cat, or maneki neko, is a Japanese symbol based on a calico that dates back to the 1870s. Statues of this cat are frequently placed in the doorways of Japanese homes and businesses as a way to bring good luck. Because male calicos are so rare, they are thought to be especially lucky. Number 7. Irish folklore has a special job for calico cats. Apparently, they can cure warts. This ancient tale claims that you can get rid of these nasty bumps by rubbing them against a calico cat's tail. There's no scientific evidence that this actually works. If you have a wart, you are probably better off calling your dermatologist. 
Number 6. The name Calico comes from cloth. The Indian port city of Calicut put itself on the map for turning plain cotton into colorful patterns. Their methods of bleaching, dyeing, and printing cloth eventually made their way to North America, where the most popular clothing patterns were bicolored or tricolored prints. Calico cats would later be described as having calico fur based on these cloth patterns. Number 5. Several calico cats have been made famous in popular media. Marzipan was the beloved cat of author and poet T.S. Eliot. This British author cited his calico as his muse and source of writing inspiration. The cat inspired his famous poetry collection, Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats, which later became the basis for the Broadway musical Cats. Callie the Calico was made famous under the pen name Crazy Cat in a comic strip by George Harriman. The comic ran from 1913 to 1944 and featured Crazy Cat's unpredictable and crazy adventures. Musician Betsy Alexander's Calico, called Nora, became an internet sensation with her piano playing. Videos of Nora playing the instrument generated millions of views worldwide and gave her the iconic name of Keyboard Cat. Homeward Bound. The Incredible Journey features a resourceful calico as Mama Cat. In the movie, Mama Cat plays a critical role in helping the animals find their way home. She became a fan favorite and showcased the determination and intelligence that are associated with calico cats. If you're a Harry Potter fan, there's a lot of symbolism in having a calico cat as your patronus. It means you're clever, observant, loyal, and extremely lucky. Number 4. Calico cats are mostly a happy accident. Due to their genetic makeup, it's incredibly difficult to breed calico cats. In most cases, the coat color just shows up. Recall the fact that male calicos are very rare, and most male calicos are sterile. You can't just breed two calicos. Most of the time, calico kittens are the result of breeding two solid-colored cats. If you get a calico, consider it a rare blessing from Mother Nature. Number 3. No two calicos are exactly alike. Each calico cat has a unique set of markings that are their very own. This uniqueness extends to their personality as well, as their temperament and behavior are often as quirky as their coat color. One recent study showed that people assign personalities to cats based on their coat color. Because of this, calicos are often seen as more intolerant than other breeds, even though they aren't actually a breed themselves. There's no evidence to back up this claim. It's mostly a result of misguided perceptions. Since calico cats come in all different breeds, it's easy to find one with a temperament that suits you. Number 2. Calico cats have many different names. Tabby cats can also be calico and are often called calibi cats. Diluted or faded calicos are called calamanco cats or clouded tiger cats. Other names for calicos include tricolor, brindle, tortoise shell with white, toby mike, or Japanese for triple fur, and lapyeskat, which means patches cat in Dutch. Number 1. A Japanese calico cat held a real job. Tama the calico was a station master at Kishi train station in Japan. Tama was a stray who was regularly fed by passengers and the station master. In 2004, the station was slated to be shut down, but remained open due to passenger protests. To save money, the train company cut their staff in half and chose local businesses to come greet passengers. Tama was chosen as the new station master. Tama was so famous that people took train journeys just to see her. The number of passengers on Tama's route increased, and so did revenue. One common behavior that many people often find baffling is when a cat rubs against us. And turns out, this gesture is extremely significant in the cat world. So check out this video, where we talk about what it really means when a cat rubs against you. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline-loving community.